Welcome to Garden Treasures, a video series featuring fresh produce locally grown at our own micro-urban farm, the Miramar Community Garden. We will take you to local restaurants, highlight prominent chefs, introduce you to farmers and other experts who are inspired by local ingredients and understand the importance of sustainable agriculture. Enjoy! <music> I'm ready. My name is Chef Abundio. I'm the chef instructor here in Le Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts. Today, let me show you how to make a beautiful salad from the garden. Follow me around and uh, we'll see what we can utilize. All right, I found some tomato over here. This type is a cherry tomato. It grows like a grape. We would like to get them, you know, before it get too overripe because we want the sweetness of the uh, tomato, right? That's the reason why they pick them up on this color, on this color, so they have a chance to uh, keep all the tomato in sweetness. I love arugula. You know, when you smell, when you smell them, you can smell the beauty of these lettuce and you can eat them just right here. Mm, just like that. You know, I found some baby per se right here. You get the center. So we have a perfect uh, combination already of our salad. And here is the green pe pepper, the sweet peppers. We'll use a red one, but just like this. But you know, there's a seven variety of these uh, peppers now. I can't believe I found a red radish in this garden right here. This is the radish. Look at that. When you pull them, there's a radish in the bottom right here. Okay, you will see them. Now, we, right here, I have arugula. I have prise or curly endive, tomato or cherry tomato that we picked from the garden. We have red peppers. We have sliced radishes. And pick some uh, basil, and you'll see some beautiful leaves right here. On the garden, also, I pick up a little bit of this orchid right here that we're going to use for blossom. I found the basil that we are going to use for our dressing. Mmm, smells so good. Oh, for our dressing, we will be using a basil vinaigrette. Wow, it's got my eyes, you know, the mustard right here. Look at how big this mustard leaf right here. Usually, when they oil like that, they will bear flowers. And when they bear flowers, they bear fruits. And that seed, that's what we use to make mustard. Let's make our dressing, all right? We need to have one bowl like this. We have over here olive oil. We have nice red wine vinegar. And we have honey and mustard. I put some mustard on the bowl right here. Just a little bit, you know? We're just going to make beautiful uh, emulsified dressing, all right? Just like that. And we're gonna put a little bit of honey. Mmm. All right. And we're gonna put a little bit of vinegar right there. And we're gonna toast all together. All right, we're gonna put some salt and we're gonna do some pepper on the spot right there. And we're gonna toast it again. and put some beautiful olive oil right here. And then toast it off, whip it up a little bit to emulsify it, just like that. And you can see the consistency is beautiful and thick, right? That's our dressing, we put them aside. If you want to touch with a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper or Tabasco, if you like a little bit spicy food, here we go, you can use some hot cayenne pepper right here. Nice, there's a green, there's already getting red, and there's already red. When it becomes red like this, you can bet it's gonna be spicy. But to me, that's enough. I have honey, salt, and pepper, 
and beautiful olive oil can't beat that flavor. Now, we're gonna start toasting our, our lettuce over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring another bowl over here. So we're gonna get some prise, get some rugula, herbs over here. Here we go, we're gonna chop them up real quick, just like this. And we're gonna incorporate them to our salad. Nice gin julienne, toast them. Nice, right there, okay? And then we're gonna get one of these orchids or flowers, any, any kind of blossom, you can utilize it for your salad. All of the flowers that grows in plants is edible. That's uh, squash flowers. And another flower that we can utilize in our salad is the uh, flowers of a tatsoi or, or uh, some known as bo choy. Little bitter, it's beautiful for salad, for garnish and everything. And now, our dressing. Gonna put it right there. We're gonna toast it with dressing. Just like that. We're gonna toast it. Lightly toss, okay? You don't wanna toss it up very, very heavy or you're gonna wilt it the lettuce. Tomato, you don't wanna toss them up or else you know the seed is gonna come out. You don't want that. Julian red pepper and a little bit of this for garnish right there. And then toss it up together just like that. Toss it up together just like that and we are going to plate. We're gonna put first the lettuce right on the center and all of the garnish right on top of it, just like that. Nice color, nice soft dressing. And then we pick up this beautiful uh, uh, blossom and put it right on the center. Here we go, there you have it, blossom salad.